Welcome everyone. Tonight we are opening some baseball and a little bit of football. Um, we're actually going to start out tonight with a full-size autographed helmet. Following that, we will be opening a, a third of a case of Leaf Metal Draft football. It probably sounds like a lot when I say a third of a case, but it's actually a pretty quick break. Then we'll open uh, an autographed baseball jersey. And finally, a half case of Gypsy Queen baseball. That's the order that we're going to go in tonight. And before we get started ripping into packs and such, we have a little information to go over here. So first up, you see there on the screen uh, a quick note letting you know that my feedback is completely automated on eBay. So what that means to you is anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you should instantly get it in return. Never have to wait on me to get caught up because, hey, I don't seem to ever get caught up. <laughs> so there you go. And secondly, and most importantly, thank you to everyone who's joining me tonight. Those of you who bid with me and break with me and chat with me, sometimes you just stop by and say, hey, I appreciate each and every one of you. So I wanted to always take a moment and say thanks every night. Next up, we're going to take a look at the auctions that are already listed on eBay coming up over the course of the next five days. So tomorrow night, uh, we've got another, we've got an autographed football jersey tomorrow night, and then a half case of 2011 Prime Signatures, uh, the, the last of the Leaf Metal Draft, and then a full case of Diamond Kings Baseball. Thursday night, we're going to open some 2013 Crown Royal Football. It's the back half of the case. A full case of Prism Basketball Blasters, which main reason we're opening that is because it's going to have approximately 60 silver prisms in the break, which is awesome. Friday night, we've got some one-box breaks, uh, another full-size helmet of a different brand, and then we will open a half case of Contenders Draft Picks, which also comes out on Friday. So we're going to open it uh, the day that it comes out. Saturday, we'll do some 2012 Signature Series baseball, uh, some more Hit Parade baseball, some of the limited edition stuff, uh, a, a mini helmet, and some more Contenders draft picks. Then on Sunday, we'll do a little more Prime Signatures football, and the last of the Diamond Kings will be Sunday night. So that's what it looks like in the five days ahead. Tonight, we've got a couple of breaks with free shipping. That is the jersey and the helmet. Those are anticipated to ship approximately Monday. The reason is, anytime I give something uh, with completely free shipping, it's going to go out six or seven days after the break ends. Our paid shipping breaks tonight, those are Leaf Metal Draft and Gypsy Queen Baseball. Those are going to go out roughly Friday. As always, it's plus or minus a day. Something weird happens, it could go a day later. Something good happens, it can go a day sooner. Finally, the last thing to look at on this page, uh, if you do not pull something in a break, if your team is not pulled, you are still entitled to a consolation card that would typically be sent with your next hit or your next package. It can go out sooner upon request. Just shoot me a message in eBay and let me know. So time to get rolling for tonight. A 2018 Hit Parade Series 17 full-size autograph football helmet break number 15 it ended tonight, the 17th of April, tax day. And of course, we're live streaming it tonight. You'll see the team names there are on the left, winning bidders across from it on the right-hand side. And of course, one of these spreadsheets will go up before every break. So if you're not in this break, you're still gonna get a chance to see your name up there when we get to your break. Finally, you're gonna notice here in a hot second that the uh, focus is going to change. It's going to go out of focus in the background, but please don't worry. We're still going to be able to see everything just fine. So Hit Parade Helmet Series 17 coming out of the box. They finally started with this series started using normal boxes they were using the strangest sort of ballot boxes before that 
it does come in a little hip parade carrying bag there and of course I'm gonna ship it to you in that little carrying bag Jeff I have not this is the first thing that we're uh, opening tonight we've just been doing a little rundown of all the all the stuff that happens before we start the break I tell you what we have pulled a lot of Buffalo Bills lately and guess what that's what it is again it's got a little sticker there on the bag that tells me that it is Kelvin Benjamin. That's what the sticker on the outside of the plastic bag tells me that signature is, which is very handy because sometimes it's hard to read them. And of course, inside you can see tucked away right there is a Dave and Adams, uh, I'll just take it out of there. It's a little Dave and Adams COA. It's kind of bent up because of where they had it, but uh, actually it's really bent up, but I don't guess that part matters. And there's a D, uh, DNA authentication sticker in there behind it as well. So our full-size helmet tonight, and I hit our camera, <laughs> is the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, <laughs> Toby says boo, and Brown's card says crap <laughs> in chat. Yeah, I hear you, man. Sometimes it's rough when you don't pull your team. Um, but you know what? We're switching to some Gold Rush full-size jerseys coming next. Uh, so we'll have uh, a little different selection probably in that. So what is coming up next is Leaf Metal Draft football. The baseball jersey is after that. So for Leaf Metal Draft Football, if you are in this break, please take a moment to look at the information there on the screen that gives you your anticipated shipping date, as well as what happens if your, uh, in this case, bidding position isn't pulled. This isn't done by teams. It's done by uh, the first letter of the last name. So this is five boxes of 2018 Leaf Metal Draft Football. It's a third of a case. It's break number five. Like our other items, it ended tonight, the 17th. Anything you see that says no bids buyback, like E there, uh, that's just an unloved, unwanted orphan team. So if anything comes out for that, it hangs out here with me. Otherwise, goes out the door to one of you. This particular break, everything is sold as the first letter of the last name. Make sure these are all the right end. And so, like, for instance, Josh Allen would be A, Baker Mayfield would be M, and so on and so forth. So what I'm doing right now, numbering the ends of these boxes, they're already numbered on the other end from the first break, and we're going to put 1 through 10 in random.org, and then random will determine for us which ones we open tonight versus which ones we open tomorrow night to finish up the case. And if, ah, daggone it, if you uh, haven't done a break with me before, this is the way I typically do it if we're breaking less than a full case quantity. That way you can kind of keep track of what's being opened, when and where and how and all that. So it gives us 9, 10, 8, 1, and 4. So 1, 4, 8, 9, and 10 are the boxes we're opening tonight. And then there's... 8, 9, and 10. There's our 5. Let me put our other, well, let me put our other 5 away and we'll get started on these. And if you're wondering, the Gypsy Queen is the back half of the case, so uh, we don't have to go through this process for Gypsy Queen because we already did it when we started that case a couple of days ago. Oh, you out of here, Toby? Were you just in the helmet tonight? All right, man. Well, we'll catch you the next time. And Jeff, you said you were hoping to start on the Gold Rush baseball. Yeah, the Gold Rush baseball jerseys aren't out yet. Um, it's Gold Rush full-size helmet that we're switching gears to uh, get into, into some of those next. We've already opened some Gold Rush full-size, but the next several that we open will be that instead of Hit Parade. And I did actually check 
with my rep for uh, the Gold Rush stuff. And I asked him, I've been asking him for, I don't think I got that cut while ago. I still don't think I got that cut. <laughs> Why can't I get that cut? I don't know. I have been asking him for a couple weeks now, when are we going to get the Gold Rush baseball jerseys? Why don't we have them yet? And he just keeps saying, soon, soon, I don't know, they're working on packaging them. So hopefully it won't be too terribly long before we'll start on some Gold Rush baseball jerseys, Jeff. I like those too. I look forward to them always. So in Leaf Metal Draft, there are five cards per box. All of them are on-card on autographs. And conveniently, they're all already in sleeves and top loaders, which means that most of the time they come out in really good condition. You know, because they don't get a lot of opportunity to be beat up just when they're being signed, I guess. So as long as the people are careful with them when they sign them, then uh, we don't have too many problems with the Leaf stuff. And of course, you know I'm a fan of the Leaf products anyway. I like their card designs usually, and they're in good shape. They're on card. They're usually low numbered. I just, I like Leaf. All right, so let's take a look at what we have. First up, we have Cedric Wilson, Touchdown Kings. That is, uh, of course, going to bidding position W. Next up, we have Rashad Penny to 35, going to the P's. Mark Walton to the W's. A redemption for Mark Andrews goes to the A's. Then we have Luke Falk. Oh, that's nice. Uh, to 15. So the F's with a nice little hit there in Luke Falk. Armed and Dangerous. That is Kurt Benkert. And what was is the number on that? Maybe there's not. I just thought there was, but I guess there is not on that one. Anthony Miller. Bo Scarborough, nice. Uh, to 35 for the S's. A redemption for Mark Andrews again. This one is a state pride one. So another Mark Andrews. Josh Allen. Hey, hey. That just made the A's very happy. He's not numbered, but you know what? That's still a very nice little hit there with your Josh Allen. Braxton Berrios to 15. That looks like Vita, and it is. Vita is not, <clears throat> excuse me, not numbered. <clears throat> Gosh, what in the world? Alan Lazard for the L's, if I don't choke to death here. Akram Wadley, State Pride to 20. A Mason Rudolph. You know what? Mason Rudolph, that may turn out to be an unexpectedly good hit. You know, he's not going to go first round or anything like that, but he may turn out to be very useful. Uh, that's kind of what all the talking heads say anyway. So a nice little Mason Rudolph for the R's. Nick Chubb, there is a nice hit for the C's with the Nick Chubb State Pride numbered to 10. That one is number 5 of 10. Ralph Webb. W's keep cleaning up here. A state pride for uh, semi cobs to 10 as well. Quentin Flowers. F's with another uh, hit there to go with their nice Luke Falk a minute ago. Hayden Hurst. State pride headed to the bidding position of H. This is Jake Weineke. Carlton Davis to 15. Michael Gallup to 35. Antonio Callaway. And finally, Baker Mayfield. There he is for the M's. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Little Baker Mayfield award winners uh, insert there. All right, so we will do a quick little... Uh, blow through because everything's a hit so our recap is going to be really quick we're not going to do numbers and all that again but I'll just throw them up uh, one more time as you go here in case someone missed it earlier or you wanted a second look at it 
Some very nice uh, hits in this third of a case. And we still have one third of this case left. It will break tomorrow night and that will uh, wrap up the leaf metal draft. Of course, there'll be leaf ultimate draft coming in a few weeks and leaf valiant draft. You guys know how I love leaf valiant because they always have uh, a graded card in them and they're usually pretty awesome. So we'll have ultimate draft and valiant draft uh, coming up before too long. So that has got us all finished up for Leaf Metal Draft for tonight anyway, which is then going to bring us to a baseball jersey break. Let me get our spreadsheet set up for that. And here we go. So once again, if you were in this break for the Hit Parade baseball jersey, please take a moment to review the information you see there in regard to your anticipated shipping date, as well as the information about consolation cards and how that works for teams that might not be pulled in the break. One 2018 Hit Parade Series 4 Autograph Baseball Jersey. This is break number four. And like everything else, it ended tonight on tax day, April the 17th. And we're hoping that we have some good luck with this one. There's some really nice stuff in the checklist for it, I can tell you that. At least what they show us of it, right? I mean, they never show you the whole checklist. They just kind of show you a selection of who you could possibly pull in it. And there's some pretty nice stuff in it. Oh, you know what else is coming up pretty soon? Maybe coming out next week are some Onyx um, Preferred Players Autograph Baseballs. And guess who's in it? Yeah, Otani, among others, of course, but. All right, so I don't know who this is. We got to figure out, I got to figure out who this is. I can't read that signature particularly. Um, Luzinski. Okay, I just, so there we go. So that is the Phillies. It is does appear to be a custom jersey as best I can tell here. I will never get that thing fold it back up right either so there is your signature your JSA authentication sticker and a matching JSA authentication card to go with it and you know what look for this little card if you get this if you're the one who's getting this jersey in the mail make sure you find that little card before you toss everything out because It'll just be tucked in the folds of the jersey. Sometimes it falls loose and rolls around in the bag and whatever. So just make sure you have it before you toss everything. <laughs> yeah, I know, Jeff. You were better reading that signature than I was. I can't read half these signatures. Like, if they don't put a sticker in there and tell me who it is, then I got to open up the jersey and see who's... Uh, see the name on the back and whatever. I am terrible at reading other people's handwriting, I guess, because I can hardly ever figure out from the signature who something is. Uh, my own handwriting is terrible, though, so I can't say much about that. So we are next going into a half case of Gypsy Queen. It's the last of the Gypsy Queen. And if you are in the break, please take a moment to review the info there in regard to your anticipated shipping date. As always, if I can get it out to you earlier, I will. Uh, and if anything strange happens, it could fall a day later, but uh, I feel like uh, Friday's probably pretty safe for this. Five boxes of 2018 top Gypsy Queen Baseball. It's a half case break, break number eight. And of course ended the 17th, live streaming the 17th of April. And get your mojo working, guys, because this is the last of it. The last of the Gypsy Queen. So we need to pull some fire out of here, some heat and some fire. And I know that Nick has been trying so hard to get a Rosario. We've got to find, we've got to find a, a Rosario for Nick tonight here. He's been, every time he's had the Mets and Gypsy Queen, we haven't pulled Rosario, because we've pulled him a lot in here, but somehow it's always been at the times when Nick doesn't have him, so I think we got to try to find one tonight. 
And of course, we're going to have uh, two on-card autographs per box that we should find in here. We'll also have a box topper, which is a, a nice little heavy-duty chrome card. We haven't found any this year that have been autographed, although they do exist. Autograph parallels uh, are possible for the box toppers. We just haven't pulled one yet. And here we have Chris Bryant for the Cubbies is first out on our box topper. And of course, we're going to find a lot of different things here in Gypsy Queen, as I'm sure many of you know by now. In addition to our two on-card autographs, um, there is an entirely parallel set of cards, a set within the set that has uh, the bazooka bubblegum back. So those are possibilities. There's a, a, a variation where the Gypsy Queen logo is traded out for a lady's face, like a gypsy's face. So logo swap is a possibility. There are blank team names on the front as a variation. There are capless variations. Although I will also point out that some players do appear capless and are not part of that variation. Justin Upton is one of them. Also the possibility that we could pull a Jackie Robinson Day card. Those have been falling around one per case. I don't think they're necessarily guaranteed to be one per case, but they fall around that. We'll find some base card short prints in here as well. And finally, we do have the possibility of pulling an intentional error card. This is Rossiella Iglesias for the Reds, and that is a logo swap, one of the ones I was talking about earlier. And if we pull one of the intentional variations, let me kind of run down how it works so it'll make sense. Like, say, for instance, if this was the intentional team error, instead of having Rossiella Iglesias for the Reds, which he is with the Reds, it might say, you know, Pirates or something up there. And if we find one of those, it would go to the correct team that the player is actually playing for, not the error team on the card, because again, it would be an intentional error. So that's the only time that a card would go, you know, somewhere other than the team that's printed on it. Fortune Teller Mini Trey Mancini for the Orioles. Trying to think if there's any other, I think that covers the main, the main things that you would want to know about Gypsy Queen. And if I can think of any others as we go along, we'll address those when we get to them. There is Tommy Pham, St. Louis Cardinals. There's our first on-card autograph out of this box. And of course, you know what's coming next week, right? Bowman Baseball. J.P. Crawford for the Phillies, Fortune Teller Mini. Bowman Baseball is going to be crazy good. I am so excited about that. Comes in on Wednesday. We will start breaking it on Wednesday, and we'll be breaking it for probably a week or more. Aaron Judge, Fortune Teller Mini. I am super, super looking forward to that. That is part of the reason that we are um, wrapping up with Gypsy Queen tonight and that we'll be wrapping up with Diamond Kings over the course of this week so we can just be all about the Bowman starting next week. Well, starting when it comes out on Wednesday of next week. And I guess by now we must be underway with Angels Red Sox, right? Wasn't that a wasn't that a 7:15 uh, Pacific, 10:15 Eastern start time tonight? I think it was. With our with our little Mr. Shohei Otani pitching, that should uh, be a good game. Cal Ripken Jr. That is a base card short print. It's going to be interesting to see what he does against the Red Sox because, of course, they are uh, very efficient offensively. And so I want to see. I want to see if he can strike Mookie Betts out for one thing. 
tarot insert. This one is Ichiro and the Marlins. We'll find a number of those as well. Anytime um, they look like that and they don't have a, a border, a, a color around the border, then they're not going to be numbered. This is the Justin Upton base card I was talking about where it looks like it should be part of the capitalist variation, but it isn't. It's just his base card. Number 250, Trey Turner should be black and white, parallel for the Nationals. Pretty much any time we see one numbered to 50 like that, you can just about plan on it being black and white when you flip it over. Giancarlo Stanton, tarot for the Yankees. So yeah, if anybody's watching the Angels-Red Sox game, Feel free to keep me updated on the score. From what I understand, they're live streaming it on MLB.com, I think. So if you're not in, obviously, one of the markets where you would ordinarily get the game, or and you don't get Fox Sports West, then you can still watch it uh, live streaming on MLB.com. Oh, I know what else I forgot to talk about earlier. Chat. If you are watching live and you want to participate in chat and you can't see how to do it or you can't see chat at all, a couple of things you need to know. One, you have to be logged into YouTube. And two, if you are watching from a mobile device, tablet, phone, what have you, you have to, I think, click on the, on the uh, link that says view the desktop version. Once those two things happen, you should be able to see and participate in chat if you so desire. Chris Davis for uh, the tarot insert. Escobar, number to 10. Nice for the Royals with our little red border to 10. Don't pull a lot of the red borders. Uh, Again, I'd say on average, probably one a case. Gary Sanchez, Yankees, fortune teller, mini. And our hit is for the Yankees with it's number to 150, Garrett Cooper. And of course, uh, the blue border as well there for the Yankees. Domingo Santana for the Brewers, 250 blue border. I think we're due to pull Otani too, really. I mean, we should be, we should definitely be due to pull some Otani ink. Here is uh, Jackie Robinson Day. This is Daniel Murphy for the Nationals. And in addition to it being Jackie Robinson Day, you also have the logo swap down at the bottom. So you kind of got a little bit of a twofer there on that one for the Nationals. Brandon Belt for the Giants. That is blank team name variation. So that is box one wrapped up. Cutting the plastic on box two. Oh, George says the Red Sox are winning one to zip. Uh-oh. Somebody homer off of him or was it, uh, was it base hits or what happened? I would almost rather it be a homer, I think, than them getting, like, lots of hits off of him. I would rather it almost be that they just got one and blasted it out. Buster Posey for the Giants on our box topper for this one. I don't know. It's, kind of, it's hard not to root for that kid, isn't it? I mean, I kind of think so anyway. I... I I mean, I've never been an Angels fan, particularly. I'm Cincinnati Reds kind of gal, but goodness knows, as bad as the Reds have been, <laughs> do need some other teams to watch. <laughs> 
And the Angels, uh, they're a good choice between Otani and they got my, my little Zach Cozart. Of course, they already had Mike Trout, so... So I'm trying to watch them a little bit more this year, and I, I find it hard not to root for Otani. He just, he's a, you know, he's a good kid, or seems like he is anyway. At least they're playing in California, so nobody's going to freeze to death. I mean, isn't it crazy? That the season starts start so early that we have games that are not rained out, but snowed out. <laughs> have to be canceled due to cold weather and whatnot. I mean, come on. Let's just start the season like a couple weeks later, right? Nobody wants to sit out in that either to watch the game, frankly. Much less they probably don't want to play in it. Daniel uh, Mingden for the A's with the blank team name um irish pride yes that full-size helmet was the first break of the night so that is long gone yeah pretty much always breaks in the order that they end on ebay which generally uh this is Corey seager los angeles dodgers fortune teller mini so generally i have the memorabilia right at the front now coming up a couple of times in this upcoming week, I did move it back into more like a second or third break because I don't, uh, I don't know why I just did. But usually, it's very much up near the front. It was the Buffalo Bills, and I do not remember who the player was though. Jose Barrios for the Minnesota Twins. Um, can anybody help me remember? <laughs> Who our Buffalo Bills helmet was. I know that's awful. I know I just opened it, but I swear to you guys, I do not retain that stuff. Unless it's a monster hit. I mean, you know, like if it had been Tom Brady, okay, I would have retained that. Or one of my Steelers or something like that. But just generally, a lot of times I don't. But I do at least remember that it was Buffalo Bill. And our jersey was the Phillies. And I couldn't read the signature. <laughs> Took me a minute. I had to think about it. I had to flip it up and see the name on the back. I can't read other people's handwriting often. At least their signatures. I guess I can read their regular handwriting. But anyway. So when we get to Bowman next week, uh, we have got, gosh, I don't know, probably six or eight cases of it, something like that. We've got a pretty good amount of it. So we'll probably do some as half cases. I might even do some full cases somewhere along the way, but we'd have to start earlier, and that'd probably be the only thing we would do that night. Carlos Correa for the Astros Fortune Teller Mini. But we'll definitely start out um, as half case on the Bowman because it's kind of like Gypsy Queen and uh, archives and a lot of the ones that are base card heavy. Paul Blackburn for the A's. That's the logo swap. Heritage. I mean, all the ones that I really like a lot I have so many base cards. Joey Votto for the Reds to 50, black and white like the only good thing that's come out <laughs> it's the only good thing that's happened to the Cincinnati Reds in what seems like 10 years it's not really been that long but whoo stinking up the joint and I'm just ready for them to call up Nick Senzel already I mean come on we've passed the deadline day bring him on Cole Hamels for the Rangers blank team name Of course, they haven't called up uh, some of the others either. They haven't called up Acuna yet, have they? Unless he came up today, which I think we all thought he was going to immediately come up once we passed the 13th. But yet, he's still down there. Fortune teller many Manny Machado for the Orioles. I mean, obviously not the Reds and Acuna. Obviously, the Reds don't. I didn't mean that. I was just kind of in general... 
Skipping around in my head there, thinking about other players who were waiting to have called up. Oakland A's Chris Davis is our second autograph out of uh, this box. Kevin Kermayer tarot card insert. Of course, you guys already know, I think that whole thing is a bunch of BS about having to send them down to uh, the miners anyway for those extra couple of weeks so that they can keep an extra year of team control over them. I, I just think that's not the right way to do things anyway. I think it's, I mean, the players know they're doing it. It's not like it's a big secret, but I just think it's kind of a crappy way to do business, but, but they all do it, so, guess if you're making as much money as some of those players make, that matter anyway, right, maybe, I don't know, we have a capless Yuri Guriel for the Astros, Did you guys see the video of uh, Bryce Harper blow-drying his hair? It was on, I don't know, Bleacher Report or one of them a couple days ago. Clayton Kershaw tarot. And somebody was, was uh, filming him without him realizing it. Stanton for the Yankees tarot. Watching him <laughs> blow-dry his hair. Because you know his hair is such a thing. And he uses two blow dryers at once. Who knew? <laughs> Such a weird thing to go viral. Roger Clemens for the Red Sox. That is a short print base card. Pirates to 250. Sterling Marte with the blue border. A fortune teller mini, Noah Sendergaard for the Mets. Orlando Arcia to 250, blue border for the Brewers. And that box is out of the way. We are now cutting the plastic on box three of five. empty box and let's see who our box topper is. For the Rockies, Trevor Story. I like the box toppers in here. I much prefer them to the box toppers in Heritage. There are a lot of things I like about Heritage, but their box toppers are not one of them. Mainly because they're really kind of difficult to figure out how to ship them when you pull those uh, strips of uncut cards. Yeah, that's the main, that's my main issue with them. That and the fact that I'm kind of over the buyback cards. Because they've been in everything forever. So, they're kind of boring these days to me, anyway. Not all of them, I guess there's some of them that are so interesting, but a lot of them, it just seems like, eh, I don't care as much about the, the buyback box toppers and heritage. Oh, you want to know a good one? Heritage high number, which has always been easier to get than heritage, they're saying is going to be uh, allocated this year. Evan Longoria for the Giants. That is a logo swap. So, yeah, even Heritage High number is going to be hard to get. And that's, of course, because they're putting Otani in there. You know, he's in here as a, a pitcher. He's going to be in there as a batter. To 50, Jacob deGrom, Mets, black and white parallel. So that's probably part of the reason 
that Heritage High number is going to be tough to uh, get this year. Noah Sindergaard, Mets, Fortune Teller, Mini. And we have a little Brandon Woodruff for the Milwaukee Brewers. There's an Otani just base card. Carlos Correa for the Astros. That was uh, one of the tarot inserts. So that Hit Parade limited edition thing that we're going to open next week. I've got one for football. I've got one for baseball, too. You just can't see it too much because it's off to the side over here. But those are, they look like they're really good. I can't wait to get in one and see if we pull something as good as it looks like we can. Of course, as always, they never show you the full checklist. They just show you parts of it. But... Looks like they've got some pretty good stuff in both of those. They're only making a hundred boxes, so less than they do of a lot of stuff. And um, yeah, so we'll see. I think it can have graded cards as well as non-graded. And of course, those are all all have autographs on them in one way or another. Matt Moore for the Rangers to 250 with the blue border. Francisco Lindor capless for the Indians. A bazooka back. Once again, this uh, a, a completely parallel set this year. Last year they were SSPs. This year, an entire set within a set. That one is Corey Seager for the Dodgers. I wonder how many. I mean, you'd have to break an unbelievable number of cases to get a full set of those bazooka backs, I would think. Chris Sale for the Red Sox. I mean, they probably fall, I don't know, maybe five or six in a, in a whole case. So I can't even imagine how, how many cases it would take to make that set. Chris Sale again, Tarot. Carlton Fisk is a base card short print for the White Sox. Fortune Teller Mini Mike Trout Angels. Fortune Teller Mini Manny Machado Orioles. That was a lot of M's. Mini Manny Machado. Hmm. I wonder if you could say that a whole bunch of times fast without messing it up. <laughs> I probably couldn't. Oh, hey, you know what else? I've got, I found some more National Treasures football. I haven't, I haven't had any of that since shortly after it came out. And somebody uh, gave me a call today and said, hey, I've got some. Do you want it? And I said, yeah, I want it. Send it on. So uh, I have some National Treasures football coming in. Probably will show up Friday or Saturday. It might show up before that, but I don't know. At any rate. I'll most likely schedule it for a Monday night break, is what I'm thinking. So we'll break another case of uh, NT football here in a few days. For the D-backs, that is the blank team name. For the St. Louis Cardinals, a little Paul DeYoung to 150. 
blue border, of course, you can see that part, but hey, well. Guess if we're going to announce it, we may as well just announce the whole thing. That's the way I look at it. There's another one that, uh, you know, he's capless, but that's his base card. You probably know that already, and we've probably seen him go by a few times before. But because it caught my eye right then, I just figured I would mention it. A fortune teller mini Ahmed Rosario for the Mets. Getting ready to cut the plastic on box number four of five. Did you guys see what this is selling for per box? It is like up to a crazy amount of money. Francisco Lindor, Indians. Of course, it went up like almost immediately after it came out anyway. But, yeah, it just keeps climbing and climbing. Seems like it's that way all the time anymore, doesn't it? <laughs> after last year, you know, Aaron Judge uh, caused a lot of the prices to soar on some of our early releases. Although, oddly enough, not as much when they came out because he wasn't really hadn't lit the world on fire right at the start of the season but shortly thereafter yeah and there was a huge run on it all But I guess when you see the prices of what his base card or what his uh, autograph cards go for, I guess we know why Otani's moving the needle this year. Clint Frazier for the Yankees. Chris Davis for the A's. Yeah, at those kind of prices, you can afford to miss and several breaks as long as you hit M1 here and there. You're covered plus quite a bit the prices he's been bringing. Ryan McMahon for the Colorado Rockies. I think Nick has them tonight too. And if he does, that's going to be so, so crazy. Because every time he buys the Rockies in here, we hit McMahon. <laughs> so he's probably got like five of them or something. And we haven't hit it five times. We've probably hit it three or four. Aaron Judge Tarot for the Yankees. Lance McCullers, and that is another Jackie Robinson day. How about that? So we have a couple of Jackie Robinson days. One that we pulled a minute ago, and then this Lance McCullers as well. In fact, who was our other one? It was somebody with the Nationals. Flipping back through here to find it. Oh, it was Daniel Murphy before. So cool, we got a little, a little bonus there, didn't we? Found a second one. A fortune teller mini Cody Bellinger for the Dodgers. trying to time out on me over there. You see, that's about how long I can go before I'm ready to start looking at cards again. <laughs> I can only have so much delayed gratification with opening packs, and then we have to stop and look at some more cards. Trey Turner for the Nationals. That is a logo swap.
Francisco Lindor Tarot. Here's a nice bazooka back. Luis Severino, Luis Severino for the Yankees. My cat's over there in the wrappers. Can you hear that? <laughs> I'm sure you can. Bryce Harper for the Nationals Tarot. Kind of an odd fascination with it like you would think about a kid jumping in a pile of leaves he has kind of an odd fascination with the pile of wrappers that collects uh next to next to me every night when we do the breaks I still have to list that Greatest Hits Baseball. I have not done that yet. You see that back there. It's, um, if you're not familiar with Leaf Greatest Hits series, you know, Leaf has a lot of different buyback series, but Greatest Hits is the mega expensive one. Um, it's like 600 bucks, and there's four cards in there. <laughs> so, yeah. They're, uh, they're very nice, typically. And they're buyback, so they can be any, they can be tops or anybody else but usually I'd say most of the time they're going to be tops and most well I shouldn't say most of them a lot of them are graded and they're all in case so if they haven't been graded then they would be in a magnetic one touch uh, case that Leaf would have put them in and I think they also put in a Leaf Greatest Hits card this is to 250 Mike Zunio for the Mariners I think they have to put some original content in there. I don't know. It's something about the legality of it when you're doing buyback cards. So anyway, the main focus of that, of course, is the four buyback cards, which can be pretty tremendous depending on which ones we pull. Chris Bryant for the Cubs. And I keep meaning to list it. I have not done it yet. I've got to get that done here in the next couple of days. But here's the thing. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do it. I'm thinking maybe random teams. In which case it would just be like a fixed price. And obviously we would sell 30 spots. And then we would use random.org the night of the break to determine who matched up with what team. Coda Glover for the Nationals is our autograph from uh, the second autograph out of this box. Michael Fulmer for the Tigers blank team name. So, you know, they have the Leaf best of two. Best of football, best of baseball, best of basketball. The best of is, gosh, like probably about a third of the price of what Greatest Hits is. For the A's, Jimmy Fox, that's a base card short print. And we've pulled some really nice stuff out of greatest hit or out of um, best of along the way. So greatest hits is usually even better than best of. JD Martinez for the diamond <clears throat> for the Diamondbacks blank team name. And if I do list it as random teams fixed price, then of course the only downside to that is not knowing when it's going to break because it won't break until all the teams are sold. To 250 Wilson Contreras for the Cubs. Well, that sleeve does not want to open. There we go. But that might be what I do. We may try to get into that over the weekend or something as well. It was supposed to be a whole case of Greatest Hits Baseball, and he accidentally, uh, my rep, entered the order as one box and not one case. And by the time I figured it out, it was too late. <laughs> so, so we just have one box, and that's why I'm not really quite sure how I'm gonna how to figure it out, how to sell it yet. Nolan Arenado, second uh, box topper for the Rockies. They had the Trevor Story earlier. Well, as soon as I can get this, there we go. 
slide it back in there. So this is our fifth and final box in this half case of Gypsy Queen. And of course, when we finish it, also finishes up all of our 2018 Gypsy Queen. No more hanging around here. But that's all right, because we still have two more cases of Diamond Kings that we will open later this week. And then, uh, of course, next Wednesday, week from tomorrow, comes Bowman. All right, last box mojo. Let's hope for some fire. Chris Sale for the Red Sox Tarot. Brandon Drury for the D-backs. That is the blank team name variation. sad to see the Gypsy Queen go, but we won't have long to miss it. Mike Trout and the Angels. There's another Otani uh, base card. There's a Bryce Harper Fortune Teller Mini. Of course, you know how I love my Bowman, because I do. <laughs> I like the prospecting a lot, so I am super looking forward to it. Oh, this is nice, a Chris Sale cap list. So we've actually pulled three cap lists and two Jackie Robinson Day out of this back half of the case. Very nice. Also has a logo swap uh, at the bottom. So we've had some excellent uh, short prints come out of this back half. Chris Sale again on that tarot. a lot of one box stuff I need to be working into the rotations again too for football and basketball I've got some mixers to do for all that I don't know I just have not had time it seems like we've been breaking so much stuff with so many base cards lately just not enough hours in the day as a Devers Red Sox uh, fortune teller mini hey my Cincinnati Reds with a little Adam Duvall autograph Elvis Andreas to 250 for the Rangers blue border. Carlos Correa for the Astros with that particular tarot. Closing in on it. Not much left to go. I would really like our next autograph out of here to be Otani. We have one autograph left to find in this box, if I'm remembering correctly. Isn't, isn't the Duvall the only one we've pulled out of here so far? Well, I would like to find the Otani. I guess it's a good thing that there, we're not swimming in them because that would uh, certainly drive the value down if the supply were exceptionally high. So I guess we should be glad we're not hitting them too often. 
And I guess we're not going to hit it in the back half of this either because there's Carlos uh, Carrasco for the Indians, numbered to 99, our second autograph out of this box. And the last of the Gypsy Queen autographs for 2018, Miguel Gomez, logo swap for the Giants. And, of course, I will recap our signatures and our... Uh, Parallels and short prints uh, here at the end of the break, which we're almost to. Bazooka back for the Rangers. And after I do the recap, I will throw the spreadsheet up again for anybody who's interested. Ahmad, Ahmed Rosario for the Mets. Because I know people, you know, you jump in and out. I'm guilty of it, too. We all kind of have our focus split most of the time. Rivera for the Yankees base card short print. Well, I don't know why some of these... Like, it seems about every second or third pack I have been getting out of this last case of sleeves. The sleeves don't want to open. Oh, hey, we did have an extra. We have another autograph. I thought we had finished them all up, but we hadn't because there's Dustin Fowler for the Oakland A's on a mini to 99. For the Phillies, that is a blank team name. All right, that was it for Gypsy Queen. Let's recap it. See what we've got over here to take a look at. So for the Phillies, a blank team name. Uh, that is a base card short print for the Yankees. For the Rangers, we have a bazooka back. For the Giants, a logo swap. That's capless for the Red Sox. Blank team name. This is base card short print. Michael Fulmer is blank team name. Severino bazooka back. Nationals with the logo swap. Blank team name. Logo swap. And oh, that's Jackie Robinson Day. I had to think about that a minute. <laughs> and so is Daniel Murphy. Sorry, Daniel Murphy. Is Jackie Robinson Day and Logo Swap, and uh, Lance McCullers is also uh, Jackie Robinson Day. Carlton Fisk is base card short print. Corey Seeger, Bazooka Back, Francisco Lindor, Capless, Evan Longoria, Logo Swap, Roger Clemens, base card short print, Yuli Guriel, Capless, Cole Hamels, blank team name. As a logo swap for the A's, a blank team name for the A's, a blank team name for the Giants, a base card short print for the Orioles, and a logo swap for the Reds. Then our numbered cards for the Rangers to 250. Uh, that is actually a blank team name, which is stacked in the wrong place for the Diamondbacks. So that is not numbered. Uh, for the Cubs, Contreras to 250. To 250 for the Mariners. To 250 for the Rangers. 250 for the Mets. 250 Brewers. 250 Pirates. 50 Reds. 250 Brewers. 210 for the Royals. And to 50 for the Nationals. Those are our numbered cards in this break. And finally, our autograph recap. Dustin Fowler on the mini to 99 for the A's. Carrasco for the Indians to 99. For the Reds, Adam Duvall. For the Nationals, Coda Glover. For the Rockies, Ryan McMahon. DeYoung for the St. Louis Cardinals to 150. Brandon Woodruff for the Brewers. 
For the Oakland A's, we have Chris Davis, the Minnesota Twins, Jose Barrios. For the New York Yankees to 150, Garrett Cooper. And for the St. Louis Cardinals, Tommy Pham. And that is it for tonight. Um, as promised, I will put our spreadsheet up again in case someone missed it earlier. It's got information about your anticipated shipping dates. So I'll throw that up again here real quickly. And then, um, as always, note on there that it is plus or minus a day. So sometimes it might go a day earlier. Sometimes it might go a day later. But that's my best estimate. And then finally, a quick little scroll through of the auctions that are coming up for the next five days already listed uh, on eBay. And other than that, I think that's it. Other than to say thank you once again to everybody. I always appreciate each and every one of you who joins me for a break. Uh, whether you bid or whether you just come to hang out, I'm always glad to have you. So thanks to everyone. Have a great rest of your night. And uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow night. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.